to the SaaS Leaders Lounge, your premier destination for insights into the tech and advertising worlds. I'm your host, Ramon. In today's episode, we're excited to explore the intersection of advertising and AI with a very special guest, Aaron Rajagopal, a seasoned leader in AI and ML initiatives at Ad Marketplace. Aaron's role in transforming Ad Marketplace into a pioneering force in the AI-driven advertising space has been nothing short of remarkable. Aaron, a warm welcome to you. How are you today and where are you joining us from? Hey, Rowan, thank you so much for having me. Uh, on your podcast. I'm excited to be here, joining from New York City, right in the middle. Fantastic. Beautiful town or city, I must say. Um, Aaron, are you able to walk us through your journey in becoming a senior director of AI and ML and search optimizations at Ad Marketplace? And what pivotal moments have shaped your career? For sure. Uh, before joining Ad Marketplace, I had around more than a decade of experience in building, you know, large scale data and AI applications, um, right? And I always wanted to work in search. Um, search, if you look at, you know, you have a time machine, you go back and search really hasn't changed in like over a decade, right? And I wanted to kind of contribute, you know, to that field, uh, enriching, you know, the user experience, creating delightful user experience in search. And, and that's the reason I, I, I joined Ad Marketplace, uh, joined as a senior director and, Originally with optimizations, and then search teams also started reporting to me after uh, 12 months into the role. So I must say it's a brilliant space, but I'm sure we'll hear more about why later in this discussion. To dive into our kind of discussion straight away, how does Ad Marketplace integrate AI to refine search and ad selection processes? And also, can you share an example where this technology significantly impacted outcomes? For sure. Um, in a you know, we kind of use uh, something called privacy-preserving machine learning. It's a kind of subset of artificial intelligence, uh, right? So do our ad selection in the search ad space. I'll start with an you know, example that could probably help you understand, you know, where this all fits in. So let's say uh, in the New York area, there's a marathon going on. And somebody from the New York metro area is searching for shoes. So shoes kind of tells you what the person is searching, but the intent behind uh, the shoes search term could be the marathon that's happening in the New York area, right? So a natural fit for a shoes keyword from a list of advertisers, it could be the um, specialty retailers that only sells focus on shoes or athletic wear. But you can also have the big box retailers who also sell uh, shoes, for example, right? Yeah. And these big box, one of them could be a sponsor for this New York, you know, marathon. So, you know, how do you kind of, you know, this combine this narrative, right? The user intent as well as how the advertisers can shape this intent. And, and we use machine learning to accomplish all of that, right? So we use machine learning to determine what is the quality of this particular media that fits in this particular context along with this user intent. And we use in measuring the quality of the media and uh, in the ad selection process in the pricing engine, and as well as measuring what is the incremental value this media holds for the advertiser, right? Yeah. And, and privacy is kind of, we are kind of privacy first. Um, privacy is not, it's kind of a, hey, you have to use privacy, but privacy as a feature, right? So if you look at yeah. our typical ad selection, right, take any major players, they use a ton of historical data, they track the users, they follow where the user goes, but we don't do that. Uh, we look at, um, you know, only the user intent and then the context along with a lot of experimentations, right? So we don't, yeah. we bet on the new advertisers to the, to the, to the context, they kind of put them out there and we bet on those winners, right? If somebody's winning, even though historically they don't win this context in this impression, but now they are winning, then we kind of use that information in our ad selection process. That's why it's, you know, privacy focused, right? Yeah, fantastic. Um, I think that's fascinating, even taking in your kind of example of marathon and running shoes, I think the integration of AI not only improves efficiency, but also can enhance the relevance of ads for users. Right. And um, yeah, I think it's impressive to see also such a strong commitment to kind of the ethics and, and privacy in your technology, as you've kind of uh, mentioned towards the end. 
But are you able to share insights into the newest AI driven innovation or feature at Ad Marketplace? For sure. You know, if you look at the general trend, consumers are increasingly showing broader search intent than the narrow, traditional, monotonous search. And I could go back to the same shoes example. Uh, what people used to search before, they started the shoe and they kind of they drill it down using the filters, men's shoes or women's shoes or XYZ or here and there, right? So all this customization, they're literally doing like a filtering optimizations on their own. But now people are increasingly showing a broader intent, like say, instead of shoes, they would start with a uh, trekking gear for my Patagonia trip in fall, right? So and kind of, we are trying to cater to this audience segment and to create this delightful modern age shopping experience and pulling from millions of products that we have from inventory from all the major retailers as well as other major labels um mm -hmm. close to 70 million products that we have and pulling out of the products and create this oh. beautiful interface and new search experience and and powered by this large language models and generative ai that's the the new stuff that we are focusing on and we are super excited for for that <laughs> That's a great breakdown of it making complex um, tech accessibly um, accessible, should I say. It really helps in understanding the value ad marketplace provides. With the rapid evolution of AI, there's a debate in over-reliance in technology. How does ad marketplace ensure a harmonious balance between AI advancements and human oversight? For sure. I mean, taking a step back and keeping aside all the AI ML, you know, aside for a moment. Yeah. Uh, ad marketplace, the strength lies in uh, people. Uh, we put people in, in the center of all the offerings, right? So that's the key differentiator. We offer bespoke, white glove, you know, service uh, to our, you know, advertising partners as well as our publishing partners. And why it is important? The brand safety and integrity is super important for both uh, side of this marketplace, right? And we kind of people you know right there to, to maintain all of that and not just that whether it is campaign optimization whether it is uh, measuring the quality of the media or measuring how incremental value the media provides offers to our uh, you know advertising partners we put people you know always in the in, in the middle of that right and the AIMO yeah. if you look at these initiatives they're only empowers people to make better decisions and improve their creativity right so this creative element that's the differentiator right that comes from the people um but yeah. AI ML is just an just an empowerment you know of that aspect yeah that's reassuring to hear i think balance and technology with human insight i mean it surely enhances the decision making and kind of maintains trust that we can have with ai as well but looking towards the future, where do you see AI's role in advertising heading and how will Ad Marketplace contribute to that vision? I'll, I'll definitely pivot to my word, the, the very first response of why I joined Ad Marketplace, right? And <laughs> search has been undisrupted, uh, you know, if it's even a vocabulary term, for the past more than 10 years now, right? We now have reusable rockets uh, you know people are even trying to get us to you know mars right so all of this happening but search is kind of remained in the same place and to some degree it's even degrading right if you look at the recent search experiences and one of the core the ideas that recently came up is generative ai as large language models right so that's the one that is going to disrupt search as it exists you know as it existed yesterday right because the yeah. disruption is already happening so our focus has been around we're going back to the you know the basics as nobody can can predict what the future is going to look like however we are kind of betting on you know right people right culture as well as the right set of you know products uh, right so the, if you kind of bet on those three pillars and we get our act right and we are very confident that we are you know set for success in this in this this new future as is evolving Brilliant. I think that vision sounds transformative. It's exciting to see how Ad Marketplace plans to have shaped the future of advertising with AI. Um, let's lighten the mood with a quick fire, quick fire round to get to know more about you beyond your professional achievements. So are you ready for a quick fire segment? For sure. Fantastic. Do you prefer online courses or in-person classes? 
it's a mix uh, i would say you know online courses it gives you that flexibility that you can watch them you know at any time that you would like whenever you feel but the inbos yeah. and setups helps with the collaboration as they go hand sure. in hand a lot of times you learn from you know working with smart set of folks you know they help you you help them out so there should be a balance between you know both of course i couldn't agree more with you on the answer there do you prefer journals or blogs increasingly blogs they are <laughs> being very candid and open to explore <laughs> so many you know topics and there is no gatekeeping as well so it's it's kind of a yeah. democratizing you know platform right so everyone can share their thoughts and i love blogs and read more increasingly <laughs> most definitely um if any do you prefer animation or live action well, um i have a find of your old daughter uh increasingly <laughs> animation for sure <laughs> Yeah, I have two on the two as well, so I'm oh, definitely stuck yeah. on the animation side. Um, do you prefer horse riding or cycling, if any, again? Sorry, can you please repeat that one more time? Yeah, sure. Horse riding or cycling? Um, cycling. Uh, I, you know, we we bike. Uh, we have one for me, my wife, as well as for my our yeah. daughter. We we do that <laughs> so, on weekend activities. Definitely. Yeah, definitely more accessible, I must say. Um, are you more of a karaoke person or an open mic person, if any? Yeah, open. Like, you know, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> definitely gets out of our interaction. <laughs> the, the latter, <laughs> definitely. <for sure. laughs> um, street food or fine dining? Street food, and if company is sponsoring, fine dining. <laughs> That's a brilliant answer. I'm I'm the same when it was in my last employment. I think now being the boss, I'm probably more into street food. <laughs> last question: Do you prefer more magic shows or circus acts? Magic shows. Yeah, definitely. I agree with you on that one as well. And a question from our previous guest: As we like to keep the keep the collaborative nature going on the SAS Leaders Lounge, we previously had a gentleman called Alex Babin. He's the CEO of Hercules AI. But they're basically an enterprise AI company that fixes the most complex enterprise workflows using context-aware AI that mimics human behavior. Yeah. His question for yourself was, what historical event or book has had the most significant impact on your understanding of the present? And how have you applied the lessons learned from it to your current activities? Uh, this, is a, this is actually an easy question to me. Uh, the book that I read a few years back very transformative and i wouldn't say not necessarily you know predict the future but kind of set me up you know for the for the future right yeah. um it is the brothers karamazov and what i learned it's about the empathy as well as being childlike you know uh, the openness as well as his enthusiasm for the rest of the life yeah um, i really it up out of that you know you know knowledge is a pretty lengthy and i know a lot of folks would have read that in their childhood it really took me so long to read it fully completely and it was a transformative experience reading that book brilliant no fantastic book i must say and i would also put kind of a link for that book as well in the bio on our youtube channel just in case anyone wants to share that knowledge with yourself um, for our next guest on the podcast, we've got a gentleman called Rahul Sunwalker, and he's the CEO of a company that's just launched around a year ago called Julius AI. They're an AI platform at the forefront of, kind of data-driven analysis. What would your question be for Rahul on the next episode? Sure. I mean, I typically ask this question. Uh, it's an interesting question. What is the top or most critical feedback they received? and whether they worked on it and how did they address that if at all they worked on it brilliant question i must say brilliant brilliant question i look forward to rahul's answer and if you also want to know more about his answer to your question i'll be happy to connect you both um but yeah tune into the next episode where rahul will be featuring before we conclude aaron are you able to share where our listeners can learn more about you your work and ad marketplace for sure. I write a lot on LinkedIn. So please do send me a connection request. Feel free to follow. 
and also dm me dm me if you need anything but at the same time we you know also visit our career you know we are we are hiring for a ton of roles right so please visit our career you know web page uh, as well as our website in general we post a lot of blogs uh, as well as you know updates there as well so please do that fantastic i'll be sure to put your linkedin at marketplace's website in the bio as well on the youtube spotify and also apple but thank you so much for joining us today in the SaaS leaders lounge and sharing your journey and insights it's been an enlightening and enriching discussion to our listeners thank you for tuning in make sure to subscribe to SaaS leaders lounge and your favorite podcast platform to catch all the episodes of the ai series and much more until next time keep pushing the boundaries of innovation and leadership in SaaS. goodbye for now thanks so much aaron Take care. Take care.